Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to work with a little Distress Ink. I have a great big pile over here, so... <laughs> I'm going to work in the Intricate Ink Animal in detail by Tim Jeffs down here. And I picked this little guy. He's a cuttlefish. My only problem was when I was looking up cuttlefish, you can get about every single color in the world. <laughs> it's the way the photos are taken. They'll either add colors to it or depending on where they take the picture. I'm going to take a sip of tea. Excuse me. <clears throat> so my voice doesn't go out today. So I mean, depending on where they take the picture or how they take the picture or what they want to add into the picture. So I kind of picked a reference page that kind of goes with the brown, red, blue, green kind of colors. So like the fin that fluffs him through the water is a kind of a see-through um, color. So it'll pick up water color or the sand color or, you know, where they're located. A little bit of green underneath. The blue up here and then the body is kind of this, uh, depending on how you look at them, uh, browns to pinks, to reds, to purples, depending on where you see them and how your angle is. So I brought out every color under the sun, practically. But we're going to start off with the blues. I brought out two blues. Um, broken China, Salty Ocean. One of them's lighter, one of them's darker. I have little markers on the sides here. This one's supposed to be lighter. This one's supposed to be a shade darker. So we'll have some kind of variation. I might even bring out a darker or I could do it with pencil. So we're going to start with the lightest first. And this is a Ranger Detail um, thing. <laughs> it's a distress tool. <laughs> But this is the detail one. This is the mini one, and then there's one that's square that's large, I guess. So we're just going to use these. It's a dowel with a little piece of the foam that is on the other ones. I'm not crazy about these things, but they work, so... Okay, so we're just going to go around here and stick the blue in. And remember, that's the lightest shade of blue. And we can stick a little here. Okay, so far so good. Oh, his um, little eye up here has got a little blue in it, according to the reference picture that I am using. Okay, darker blue. It's not a heck of a lot darker. So you're not going to see a huge difference here. But we'll just blend it right in there. And a little up here in the eye. <laughs> okay. Then we have a little green here. We're going to pull that in. Uh, this is... Oh, did I, I told you that was broken china? This one is peeled paint. And we're going to stick a little green down in here. Okay, a little of this can go down here too. Okay, now we're going to go in with um, some, let's 
scattered straw. It's kind of a yellow color. Let's see if I can get a stick that doesn't have green on it. Doo, 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 doo. I don't know if I have one that's just yellow, so. This one has some orange on it, and I want to get that off. And up here a little bit. Now we're going to go in with some changing tool too, by the way, <laughs> gathered twigs. Just getting it uh, inked on one half of this pad, so up here. So I have a drawing line here that I can use to put against the line and pull it down. Very light touch on this. We do not want to put any pressure like we did with the little tool. We're just going to lightly let that slide across and bring in some color. Darken that there. down there and a little down in here Okay, put that away. Now we're going to go into some um, pink. Do, do, I had a pink one out here somewhere. I thought. I have a lot of these little things. Well, we'll just use, I think that's black. We can't use that one. Here we go, pink one. This is Victorian Velvet. This one you can use a little more pressure on because it's such a tiny little thing using it more like a pencil or a pen bring that down here Okay, so 
a little pink. Now we're going to bring in some aged mahogany. This is a really dark, deep kind of reddish brown. It will not dry this bright, but I want it nice and dark down here. go. And then we're going to bring in a little vintage of photo. Yep, been putting them up there so you can read them. I don't even know if you can. <laughs> Hopefully you can. So this is a reddish brown. It's going to knock down some of that red and give it more of a brown color. Okay, now we have one more brown to bring in, and that is walnut brown. This is almost a black brown. And anywhere we want it darker, we will add. Has some striping going on in there. Okay, pretty cool. We're going to get out some um, colors here. I'm going to pull out some polys and give them a little bit more color. This here is um, earth green yellowish. And we're going to add some of this in here. And get that eye to be a little brighter. 
pan in here. And then a little down here. just to brighten that up. cobalt turquoise Okay, we need to get a brown. I don't think I have a brown out on my desk. I was using what I had out on the desk. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, don't fall. I have burnt sienna, so we'll use a little of that. I'm just going to go right down the middle of those little suction cups. We didn't get any pink on that one, so we'll just color it in brown. I 
Then we have Kaput Mortem. I'll go over that green a little bit. And then we're going to bring in some black, if I can find that color around here somewhere. I know I have it out here. Not that one. Oops, I'm knocking over things. Here it is. It's on the desk, it's just not in the right spot. <laughs> okay, we're going to darken this line here that comes down. Go right down those black lines a little bit, darkening it a lot here around the eye. And we're either going to just circle that and then just lightly feather it down. his eyeball. Darken around the little suction cups, bring those lines out a little bit better.
And the only thing I want to do is get this white line, a light, light blue color. And we have light cobalt turquoise. So we're just going to lightly add that. Darken that up there. Darken under here. That is the um, cobalt turquoise. Okay, maybe a little white. Ivory. He's got some spots on him. We'll have to figure out how to put those in. Just lightening up some areas. Yeah, I think he's looking pretty good. I need to get just a little bit of... What kind of white do I want to use? A 
This is a Thule Art White. Get the cap off. We're just going to add some bright highlights here. Seems like his little finials down here are lighter, so we're going to just leave them the way they are. Gonna exaggerate this one a little bit. I'm a little fluffier. Go around and highlight all these.
and then just add a few little spots on his back. I'm going to turn the book for that. I want him to go all the same direction. Little dots, big dots. <laughs> Then we can just go around and add in some other white dots and stuff with a different color. The tulies come in a whole bunch of different colors. So you can add in like a beige too. Get out one of those and we'll put that on there. Comes in, well, sets of greens and that one will work. Oh, yay, and it's even activated. <laughs> see if we can get it to... work here. Sometimes you have to add a little water to the tip. There we go. We can add a few little dots in here of that color, too. So they're not all so bright white.
Okay, and then we'll just touch it up here in the spots where I want a little sharper there. Can you hear my cat? He's down there purring. He's telling me that you've been on long enough, Mommy. It's time to pay attention to me. I'm going to take a little bit of the um, Kaput Mortem and just lightly go over some of these. Blend them in just a little bit. A very light touch on it. Just a little bright. I want them knocked down a little bit. So that's all you do is very, very gently when they're dry so you're not scratching them off. A little color on them. And there we go. I'm going to call that done. As soon as I put a little brown over here. <laughs> it's a little could put more to my think is what I'm using, right? Yeah. Okay, there we are. A quick little picture. I think it turned out really cute. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And I will wish you guys a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.